Hello everyone, I'm Amir Hussain. Welcome to a new training video. In this video, I will show you how to make emissions data, which is a necessary step to run the Wolfgang model or any other air quality model. In the previous video, uh, we saw how to download and install Prep Chem Source Utility Program. Um, and now we are in the directory of Prep Chem Source Program. In the directory of this program, we have a bin directory. Navigate to the bin directory. Inside this bin directory, we have two files. The first file is an executive, which is the main uh, executive program of the of this prep chem source tool. And the second file is a name list, which contains all the necessary variables for uh, running this utility. I open this name list, prep chem sources .input. Inside here, you can see two groups of variables. The first group of variables are related to your global emissions directory. So you are supposed to download your global emissions before running prep chem sources. You are supposed to modify all of these or most of these uh, variables that are related to your global emissions and uh, the second group of variables are related to your WPS name lists so for setting these variables you have to uh, take a look at your WPS name lists and set it according to your WPS name list such as your Delta X Delta Y and Delta X, Delta Y, number of grid points, central latitude, central longitude, and so on. So uh, you have to take a long time for setting this name list up, but don't worry because there is a, a utility program you can use to automatically set all of these variables inside this file. The program is inside this directory inside this repository I will provide the address to this repository in the video description so now just uh, make a copy of this repository and clone it here after cloning I will have a directory named atmospheric science go to atmospheric science Inside of this directory, we have a WorfCam tools. Inside of the WorfCam tools, we have several, a bunch of uh, files. One of them is set prep cam input. So this is the file that we're going to use to set our uh, prep cam source uh, name list. And also you can see some other files. There are some uh, supplementary files, for example, namelist.wps and namelist.input that you can see, that you can use as a, a sample or as an example of running your WolfCam model. But for now, I make a copy of the path to this file. And I get back to the bin directory of prep chem sources and I copy that program here. I have this program here. I open it. There is three mandatory variables that you are supposed to, um, uh, to put it here before running the program. The first one is global emissions. Second one is, the, these are actually the path to global emissions, the path to uh, WPS name list and the path to your WORF name list, WORF main name list, name list dot input. And especially the first two one is necessary and mandatory for running this program and setting your prep cam input data. In other words, uh, in other words, setting your prep cam name list input data. So, uh, before running this program i have downloaded i had downloaded my global emissions my global emissions uh, are here and this is the path to my global emissions so everything is uh, set and everything is ready to run this program so after running this program it has been run now 
if I open my prepchem input name list, you can see that all the uh, addresses are set. All of them are set actually. And uh, all of the necessary variables are set here. And also my uh, the variables that are related to your WPS name list, they are also set here. So very fast and very accurate. You can set all your all the variables that are related to your prepcam utility. Now you can you are ready to uh, run your main utility, which is this executive file. I run it. It reads the emissions data from your global emissions directory and extracts it uh, for your WPS domain. Okay, it has been finished. Now I have a bunch of files here that all of them have been started by this prefix, output emis prefix. Now you are ready to use, these files are actually your emissions data, your extracted emissions data from global emissions and these files can be used for your WARFCAM and uh, by, by these files you can run your WARFCAM uh, that I will discuss in the next video.